So the question came up, if you're working in Fusion 360 and you're trying to design a part to print, like I'm sending this to Kira to print on my Ultimaker, how do I design it with the print plate or the size in mind? As well as could I even see the grid when I'm doing the design? Coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today, talking about uh, designing this ski fixture. And I want to do it on my 3D printer, but I want to keep the size of the plate in mind so that I understand if I need to split this in half or um, maybe if I can orient it or get creative about the design to fit on the plate. So I'm working on a Fusion 360 design. This happens to be a, a ski holder to place up on the wall. I can drop my skis on and I want to 3D print it. So what I'm going to do is insert this build plate sizer that I've created. A simple sketch insert into the current design that drops in. Now I can take the time to translate this and move this where I want it to go or or I can just drop it in and then I can use my move component to kind of play with this particular design and get it kind of oriented to see if it's going to work. So clearly it's too long for my build plate. If I rotate it like there's really no way that I'm going to be able to sneak this thing into my build plate unless you guys know something I don't. But I could split this in half and that should work fine. But if I was flexible on my dimensions, if I were to go back and maybe just look at this, this is a mirrored part. If I were to use the push pull command with the Q and work this down, if I was flexible on this part of the design, and then we're to mirror it from there. It's like there's an error in my mirror. I'm going to resolve it very quick. Here's the body, body here, plane. We're mirroring across that face and it's joining together. Now, if I rebuild this and then try that move command and play with the shape, can I fit it in? It's closer, it's a lot closer. We rotate it, it looks like I could probably sneak this in. Very cool. So it looks like now the design should fit. So it's nice having this print plate in front of me. Now let's talk about how do we make this little build plate sizer and how do you bring it into your models? If you like this video, hit that like button, or if you don't, hit that dislike button and let me know why down in the comments down below. Start a new design, start a sketch. I'm gonna do on the front plane, and I'm gonna do a centered rectangle, and then drop in my dimensions of my build plate. So I know mine's 230 by 190, one question that came up in the channel was, could, can we adjust the grid where it will just always be the same size and look and look like it does maybe in your slicer, like in Cura? Can I just have this exact plate, this exact gridded build plate in my model? So unfortunately, we can't control the total size of the grid. We can come into grid settings and we can adjust it what we can control is we can match these little squares to be the same as your particular build plate. Mine are 10 millimeters in size. So each square represents the same amount of volume that it does in Cura for me. Unfortunately, the total grid is much bigger than my actual build plate, which is why I would create a rectangle that symbolizes your build plate size. Save this as a design file. Maybe name this your build plate sizer. So now when you're doing a brand new design and you've got something in mind, so without measuring and without having to give it much thought, can I quickly check if this will fit on my printer? I'll have to save it and then find your sizer. Go to your data panel, right click, insert that a template that you just created into your current design. Once it comes in, you can orient it to where if you know the bottom of your design, in this case, I'd probably want to put one of these on the build plate. And then I can kind of shift that and play with it and move it along 
get it located. Looks like it's going to have no problem fitting on the build plate. Looks like I'll have no problem filling on my build plate, and I now could maybe sneak in some other prints or other designs even to work into the same print. If you're looking for beginner exercises, check out this playlist I created for you, as well as these other tips for Fusion 360. See you in the next video.